We all remember the periodic table of the elements from our science classes in school. But what we may not know is just how dangerous some of those elements can be. From extremely effective poisons to highly explosive reactions, we'll tell you a little bit about some of the more terrifying chemical compounds. You may want to sit down for this one. This is Deadly Table of the Elements. 10. Fluorine You know those guys that have no self-control and will just attack or go after anyone and everyone? The guys your parents, friends, and everyone else tell you to just steer clear of? They're basically fluorine in human form. Fluorine is like the older brother of chlorine, and is an element that wreaks havoc on almost everything it touches. It's poisonous, corrosive, and it will react with almost everything besides neon and helium. It's known as the most reactive of all the elements, and if it gets its sinister gas claws into hydrogen, you know, the flammable Hindenburg gas, explosions happen. Want to know something crazy? We have natural fluorine in our bodies, and it's also been found in things like cereals, potatoes, seafood, teas, tomatoes, and more. But those versions of fluorine aren't dangerous to us. Exposure to fluorine concentrations of just 0.000025% can prove lethal, as it will attack your airways, lungs, and eyes. Blindness and suffocation can occur with this dangerous element, so just steer clear. This stuff is like mustard gas, but even more lethal. 9. Beryllium Aw, doesn't this element almost sound like a kind of fruit or something? Don't let the name fool you. Beryllium can be extremely harsh and hazardous to humans, and can cause all sorts of havoc to be wreaked within you. The element itself is super rare, and it's produced by fragmentation of larger atomic nuclei when they get smacked by cosmic rays. When it's added to other elements like copper, iron, nickel, or aluminum, it can strengthen them and make them better, which is known as alloying. This element can be so devastating that there's a disease aptly called beryliosis, which occurs due to exposure to beryllium. It causes symptoms and long-lasting effects that one would see in a tuberculosis patient. There's also something called acute beryllium poisoning, which is a chemical pneumonia caused by contact with the element. Beryllium and beryllium compounds are listed as Category 1 carcinogens, and there's now a PEL, or permissible exposure limit, in place for employees who work around it. 8. Chromium This here is something that most people are generally familiar with. When you say chromium or chrome, people probably think of car parts or anything else you'd want a high shine metal added onto. While chromium in certain states isn't toxic, hexavalent chromium is. Hexavalent chromium is a compound which has chromium in the plus 6 oxidation state in it. This is also known as chromium-6. It's used for a variety of purposes, including wood preservation, in textile dyes, and anti-corrosion products, among others. You can probably see, judging by the things it's in, that it's not the most human-friendly compound. Working with chromium at high temperatures can produce chromium-6, which is considered a human carcinogen. Repeat exposure to hexavalent chromium can cause a number of terrible things to happen, like development of asthma and lung cancer, damage to skin and nasal epithelial cells, and more. Did you know that hexavalent chromium can be found in cigarette smoke, public water systems, and even, at times, drinking water? 7. Lead Now, this may seem pretty obvious considering all of the flack that lead has been getting in the last few years, but is it really that bad? Have you ever watched the movie Tommy Boy and wondered just why Tommy's brother, Paul, asks Tommy if he ate paint chips as a kid? It's because back in the day, lead was used in all kinds of things, including paint. But it was also found in toys, water pipes, and even utensils which people used to eat. And that's just the beginning. In fact, a few years ago, Portland, Oregon faced a considerable problem with lead in drinking water at their schools. Their pipes were old, and children were ingesting large amounts of lead on a daily basis. Now why is lead bad? Well, if one were to get a dose large enough, it could potentially be lethal. But that's less likely than not knowing you're ingesting it and doing so over a long period. Lead poisoning can lead to all kinds of things, like vomiting, general weakness, seizures, coma, and even death. It's also more severe for children to come into contact with because it can stunt nervous system development and cause irreversible damage, including damage to the brain and IQ. 6. Arsenic You might be saying, yeah, isn't arsenic a poison? Well, you are partially correct. Arsenic is more than just poison. It's actually a chemical element that is toxic to humans. That's why accidental arsenic poison and purposeful arsenic poison are both very real things. At one time, 
Arsenic was even used in things like paints and wallpapers, and these days it can be found in things like car ammunition and car batteries, as well as basically all of the sides. Pesticides, insecticides, herbicides, many of these things contain arsenic. And poisoning doesn't just come on quickly and in one big dose all the time. It can build up in your system until you start noticing symptoms, much like lead. It is a group A carcinogen, and can cause things like abdominal pain, vomiting, diarrhea, red and swollen skin, as well as changes in the skin itself. Cramps, tingling of extremities, the list goes on. A high dose can cause extreme stomach issues, with most of the above present, plenty of pain, and even internal bleeding. It's not something to mess with. 5. Hydrogen Now, you wouldn't think such an abundant and tiny element could be dangerous, right? Oh, but you are wrong. Hydrogen is essential to anything that is acidic, as hydrogen is what gives acids their acidic properties. Now, we know that some acids aren't that bad, but there are definitely some that you wouldn't want to mess with unless you want to risk severe burns or worse. Acids like water a lot, and when they come into contact with things like human skin or anything else organic, they begin lapping up the water content of what it's touching. This incredibly strong dehydration is nearly equivalent to burning. Sulfuric acid is strong enough to burn within a matter of a couple of seconds. And what is the key ingredient that makes it work? Hydrogen. Not to mention, hydrogen is incredibly flammable and volatile at high temperatures. If you know anything about the Hindenburg disaster, you'll know that hydrogen was fuel on the flight that ended in disaster. The people aboard were basically riding a colossal bomb, and when it caught fire, we saw what burning hydrogen on a large scale looks like. The flames of burning hydrogen are nearly invisible as well. So, yeah, we'd say that hydrogen is a dangerous element. 4. Mercury Not the planet, the chemical element. Now, it's long been known the terrible effects of mercury exposure, but there was once a time when we didn't, and it was found in things like thermometers, that we put in our mouths and let children touch. Did you know the phrase, mad as a hatter, comes from old techniques of hat making, where mercury was used in the process? This led to high levels of dementia, or madness, in hatters. This element can evaporate exceptionally quickly, making inhalation easy. It can also be absorbed through the skin, and is even found in some of our foods, where it can build up and reach terrifying levels. Seafood is especially dangerous for mercury tainting, because evaporated mercury tends to make its way into lakes, seas, oceans, and any other place we might get our delicious, water-dwelling foods. It can affect all of the senses, but the neurological effects of mercury poisoning are typically the most noticeable. Muscle strength and coordination are often affected, and sufferers may also experience numbness, irritability, tremors, memory issues, depression, and more. In high enough concentrations, mercury can kill. So don't do as Chinese emperor Qin Shi Huang did. He was supposedly told that mercury pills would grant him immortality. He took them and found they did, well, just the opposite. 3. Cesium This next scary chemical element is highly reactive and dangerous to handle, considering something as simple as thin air could actually make it burst into flames. Cesium is an alkali metal that looks silvery gold, and it has a very low melting point of 83.3 degrees Fahrenheit, making it liquid when it's near room temperature. It is extraordinarily malleable and the softest element, which makes it sound pretty harmless, but that is oh so wrong. It's considered pyrophoric, which means it can spontaneously burst into flames at or even below 130 degrees Fahrenheit. If you're ever working with the chemical and ignition does occur, do not throw water on the fire. It reacts strongly with water, and upon contact, it will explode. It can be slightly radioactive and potentially slightly toxic to humans, although exposure to large amounts of the element can cause hypokalemia, a heart arrhythmia, and even cardiac arrest. 2. Polonium While polonium doesn't take the top spot on our most deadly elements list, that doesn't mean it's not something you should steer clear of. Polonium was discovered by Marie Curie and her husband Pierre, and is one of the most effective and scary poisons that have been used by humans. And that's because it's incredibly toxic. In fact, polonium-210 is, in comparison to hydrogen cyanide, a very deadly chemical in itself, around 250,000 times more toxic. And not just that, it's also radioactive, which means it would attack and destroy your cells before you even knew what was happening. Those who deal with it need to go to extreme lengths to ensure their safety, and are only supposed to handle it in minuscule amounts. One upside is that it doesn't penetrate the skin, but that's the only upside. If it is somehow absorbed, inhaled, or ingested, it's basically like signing a death warrant. Just one gram of polonium-210 could potentially be enough to poison 20 million humans. But, lucky for us, only 10 million of those poisonings would prove fatal. 
Hypothetically, that's around 10 and 5 times respectively, more people than were in the crowd at Barack Obama's inauguration in 2009. We've seen some hazardous elements so far, and we still have our top spot to go. But first, we'd like to ask, which of these elements freaked you out the most? What kind of things are you now going to be wary of in your house, workplace, or otherwise? Let us know in the comments below. 1. Plutonium Plutonium is so dangerous, so toxic, and so radioactive that we're probably getting poisoned just talking about it. This chemical element gives off not only alpha, not just beta, or not just gamma radiation, but all three at once. It is a heavy metal that is extremely toxic to any living organism that it may come into contact with. No wonder this is the choice element for nuclear weapons. What's scary about that is that in the 1950s and 1960s, atomic tests frequently took place, releasing tons of this stuff into our very own biosphere, right here on Earth. Just one kilogram of the stuff, seen in this picture, is enough to provide energy for a 10 kiloton explosion, and for reference, that's about the same amount of firepower that you'd need 10,000 tons of conventional explosives for. If someone was to release just 500 grams of plutonium dust, it would probably be more than enough to take out around 2 million people. No wonder Marty is so shocked by Doc's use of this stuff in Back to the Future. If this video helped to freak you out, do us a favor and give it a like. Subscribe to our channel so that you never miss out on any of our great uploads. And be sure to check out this next video we know that you'll love.